Welcome to my second video. Let's start with the rear suspension. I need to build four of these. To do that I'm going to use one inch wide metal strip. I'm going to mark them. Then I'm going to cut them. Once ready I'm going to attach them to a one inch tubing to get this right here. Now let's see if it fits. Alright now let's see if all this work is gonna pay off. It works nice. This block is going to hold one of the axles. Initially I was going to use one leaf spring, but now I'm going to add a second one because this is getting a little heavy. This piece is going to hold the live axle. I'm going to put it together by cutting two small triangles and a little rectangle piece like so. These cutoffs are for two coupling nuts that are going to go like this. Then I need to weld it onto the swing arms. For the swing arms I'm going to use a block bearing cut off on one side and a 1x2 rectangular tubing. I will cut the axis off following the markings to get this right here pretty even on both sides. Once these shapes are cut off I'm going to secure it and weld it and cut both of them to the same length and weld it onto the other piece. Here you have it all done. One last thing I'll do is to add this stud one on each side to hold it to the leaf springs. Now let's try it on and see how it works. seems to be good. This pillar block bearing is going to hold the live axle. Now it's time to secure it to the leaf springs. Here you go. Completed. Let's work on the front end. I only need four of these hangers and I'm going to use quarter inch steel. Once they are cut and sanded a little, I will put them on. Hopefully they fit. They look good. Now let's work on the front axle. Here is the drawing for it. Once I cut off the angles, all I need to do is this. Push it in and weld it. Once completed, I'm going to work on the spindle brackets using quarter inch steel. I'll cut the little brackets and weld them together. I'm using about 7 degrees positive caster and about 13 or 14 camber. This small piece of metal is going to give it more stability once screwed on to the lip springs. Once I drill this hole I'm going to add a 5 eighths of an inch tubing to make it stronger so it doesn't buckle once I put the screw through the lip spring and the 
actually. I think that for an experiment, it's fine. I like it. This is how it looks with the front and rear suspension completed. Thank you very much for watching my video.